Buenos dias and welcome to ating video lecture. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about the lesson six, which is nonlinear systems. Now, I prepared a video lecture which serves as a review for this lesson. I do strongly suggest that you go and watch that video lecture first before you proceed um, with this video. You can check for the link of, the, the, of that review video on our description. Okay, so if napanood nyo na nga ating um, lesson review on linear systems, I think we can already proceed with nonlinear systems. When we talk about nonlinear systems, ito yung isang system or isang set na kung saan um, there is at least one equation na hindi linear. Okay? Kung meron mang isang equation na hindi na sa linear, ibig sabihin nonlinear na po siya. Of course. Okay. So for example, we have these, uh, this system of equations. First equation, we know that this is a line. So linear, possibly linear. Then the next one, okay, may isang um, term na naka-square. So that represents, a, it's a quadratic equation. Okay? So hindi na siya linear. So this also represents a parabola. So it's a line and a parabola. Okay? So hindi siya linear. So non-linear system to. Next naman, we have here this one x squared plus y squared equals 5. This represents a circle. And the next one is a line. So a circle and a line, merong isang hindi na linear equation. So non-linear system to siya. And so with this um, third example, we have a circle and an ellipse. So a circle and an ellipse, hindi po sila lines. Okay? Ibig sabihin, this is a non-linear system. Okay. So dito sa non-linear systems, we will be talking about the process of substitution and the process of elimination lama. So substitution. As mentioned in our um, video lecture on linear systems, substitution method is convenient to use when there is a variable in either equations that has a coefficient of 1. Okay, kung may x lamang or y lamang. So ito yung process ng substitution. First, express the linear equation as x equals tapos in terms of y, or y in, equals in terms of x. Depende kung saan um, variable yung 1 lang ang kanyang coefficient. Okay. So it's important also to express the linear equation para wala tayong mga extranus solutions. Okay? Next, from that, we substitute the expression obtained for x or y into the other equation. And then we solve for the value of y or x. Then solve for the value of x after ng y using any of the remaining uh, of the equations. And then we can also check the solutions in both equations kung nag-work po ba. If nag-work sa, uh, sa both equations, ibig sabihin correct ng ating answers. We can also check through graphing. Okay, so let's start with an example. Example number one, let's have this nonlinear system. X minus Y equals negative 1 and y equals x squared plus 1. So we know that the first equation represents a line because this is a linear equation. And the next one represents a parabola. Diba? So when we have a parabola and a line, the possible intersections, ilan nga ba? So let's see. So if ganito yung magiging um, graph nito, so obviously wala tayong solutions kasi walang intersection. Another possibility is, what if ganito? Tangent yung ating line sa ating parabola. Ibig sabihin, there could be exactly one solution. And what if ganito yung itsura ng ating graph later on? There could possibly be two solutions. Yeah, so there could be no solution, one solution, or two solutions when we are looking for the solutions of a nonlinear system that involves a line and a parabola. Okay. So this one, as our first step, we get the, non, the linear equation and express it in terms of x or in terms of y. So dito, yung x natin, ang gusto natin gawing, um, isolve natin for x in terms of y. So x equals y minus 1. Okay? So we transform lang natin. Iba yung negative y, we apply APE or addition property of equality or what you know as transpose. Okay? So, magiging positive sa kabila. Ayan. So, copy negative 1. Okay. And then, we use the other equation, which is equation 2. Y equals x squared plus 1. Now, 
Now we have x equals y minus 1. Etong expression na to, we will now substitute this one for our x here. Kaya nga siya substitution kasi we will substitute. So y minus 1 yung magiging bagong x. So magiging ganyan. So bring down y, yung x naging y minus 1 squared plus 1. So we expand this one. So that becomes y squared minus 2y plus 1 using FOIL method or binomial expansion. Okay? So you have here 1 plus 1 which results to 2. Okay. Next, we continue from that. From that, we equate to 0. So yung y dito sa ating left side, we apply APE by subtracting negative, by y, I mean by adding negative y on both sides or transpose y to the other side. Ganun. So kaya dito siya negative y. Okay, next, we have negative 2y and negative y. We combine like terms. That becomes y squared minus 3y plus 2. Yung 0, ilipat lang natin. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so, ayan. So from that, we know that this is a quadratic equation. Okay, we have y squared minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. We can factor this out, and this becomes y minus 2 times y minus 1 equals 0. Kasi ang factors ng 2, kung saan yung sum nila ay negative 3 are negative 2 and negative 1. Okay? Yan. So, we solve for y. y minus 2 equals 0. Ibig sabihin y equals 2. y minus 1 equals 0. Ibig sabihin y equals 1. So, meron na tayong values for y. Maghanap na tayo ngayon ng values for x. So, let's see. Yan, ito yung values for y natin kanina. Now, we to, I mean, to solve for the value of x, we use this equation. x equals y minus 1. So, first, gamitin, gamitin natin yung y equals 2. So, we substitute 2 for y. That becomes x equals 2 minus 1, which is 1. So, x is 1, y is 2. That point is on 1 and 2. And one. Then, you also do that for y equals 1. If y is 1... So, x equals 1 minus 1, which is 0. So, x is 0, y is 1. So, 0 and 1. So, yan ang ating solutions. So, merong dalawang intersection ang ating parabola at ang ating line. So, if you want to confirm if that is really true, we can check sa ating graph. We can graph it. And ito yung magiging itsura ng ating graph. So, ito yung ating parabola. At ito yung ating line. And clearly, they intersected at 0 and 1, and 1 and 2. Yeah. So you can always do the graph for, for checking. Or you can substitute 1 and 2 sa ating uh, mga equations at tingnan kung tama naman siya so far. Okay, so that's example 1. Let's have another example. Example number 2. For instance, we have this system of nonlinear equations. We have x squared plus y squared equals 5, and y equals 3x minus 5. So, anong class and graph ba ito sa first equation? So, x squared, y squared. Di ba yan isang circle? And this one, obviously, that's a line. So, when we talk about the intersection of a circle and a line, ito yung mga possibilities. So, kailangan isipin natin, ano yung mga possible number of intersections? So that, matingnan na natin agad kung ano yung mga possible number of solutions. Okay. So kapag ganyan, hindi nag intersect yung circle at ng line natin, of course, no solution. If our line is tangent to our circle, there is only one solution. If dumadaan siya sa circle talaga, there could be two solutions. Of course, wala nang possibility for a third um, intersection. Yan. So one, zero, one, or two ang possible answers. Okay? Sige. So here, if we notice, yung ating linear, um, linear equation, y equals 3x minus 5, naka-express na siya in terms of x equals or y equals something. In this case, y equals tapos 3x minus 5. So eto na, wag na natin galawin, yan na yun. So kunin natin yung first equation. From equation 1, x squared plus y squared equals 5, we substitute this 3x minus 5 or our y. 
Okay, palitan yung y, gawing 3x minus 5. Kaya nga substitution, kasi substitute. So that becomes the quantity 3x minus 5 sa labas ang square. Yan. Okay, so next, from that we expand. So that becomes 3, um, 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. Okay, so sa pag-expand, you can use the shortcut for um, squaring binomials or you can use FOIL method. So to square the binomial, 3x, we square that. So 3 squared is 9, x squared is x squared. Then 2 times the product of 3x and negative 5, which is negative 15, di ba? Negative 15x times 2, that becomes negative 30x. Then square the last term. 5, negative 5 pala. Negative 5 squared, which is 25. Yeah. So kung nahirapan doon sa shortcut, pwede gumamit ng FOIL method. Okay. From this, we combine like terms. So x squared plus 9x squared. Di ba yung x squared meron dyang 1? So 1 plus 9, that results to 10x squared. You bring down negative 30x. And paano naging 20? 20, we apply APE by, by adding negative 5 on both sides. Or we can transpose 5 to the other side and make it negative 5. Yeah. So 20 minus 5, 20. Ano. So notice, notice dito, 10, 30, 20. For us to factor out, di ba dapat maganda i-factor out kapag 1 na lang ang coefficient ng x squared, di ba? So divide natin lahat by 10. So 10 divided by 10, 1 na lang yan. Ito magiging negative 3 na lang. Then ito magiging positive 2. So that becomes x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Yan. Okay? Okay. And then next naman is we factor out this one. Ano ba yung factors ni 2 na kung saan pag i-add mo magiging negative 3? That is, um, these are negative 2 and negative 1. So x minus 2, x minus 1. So that negative 2 times negative 1 magiging positive 2. And then negative 2 times uh, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So x becomes 2 and 1. Okay? So gagamitin natin itong mga values ng x sa pag ng value ng y. So yan ang ating nahanap na x kanina sa uh, previous slide. So from this equation, y equals 3x minus 5. I-substitute natin ang 2 first. So that becomes 3 times 2, which is 6, minus 5, which is 1. So x is 2, y is 1, 2, and 1. If x is 1, so 3 times 1, then 3, yun siya, minus 5, which is negative 2. So 1 and negative 2. So yan ang ating intersections. Nang ating circle at ating line. So there are two intersections. To confirm, we have the graph here. Ayan. So if we graph the circle at the origin sa ating lesson 2 ng ating, ating mga video lectures na kita dati na. To graph a line. Ayan. So we can check there. Doon nga sila nag-intercept. Tama nga tayo. Okay. Okay. So ganun nga po yung uh, process natin ng substitution dito sa non-linear systems. If you notice, pareho pa rin ang process natin compared sa ating linear systems. Ngayon naman, ang ating next um, method, which is elimination. As, in, as mentioned in our video lecture na review for this lesson, you can use elimination kapag merong variable or um, variable in both equations na pwede mong i-express na meron silang parehong coefficients. Okay? Or kapag sa tingin mo hindi ka na makagagamit ng substitution, edi elimination na ang possible doon. Okay. So you have to express first both equations with the same terms and then eliminate terms by adding or subtracting the terms. Okay? Solve for y or x ba kung ano yung una. Then solve for the next one. Yan. And check the solutions in both equations. Okay. Sige. Let's have one example here. Let's have this system. We have x squared plus y squared equals 26. And 3x squared plus 25y squared equals 100. Yung ating first equation represents a circle. Okay? 
whereas yung ating second equation represents an ellipse. And ilang possible um, intersections ba meron sa isang circle at ellipse? So we have here. Possible, wala. Walang intersection. Possible, merong isa. Pwede namang dalawa. Pwede ring tatlo. Or pwede ring apat. So there could be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 possible solutions. Okay. <clears throat> Sige. So sa elimination, okay, ayan ulit ang ating elimination given, we have to express yung ating um, equation such that merong terms na parehong coefficient kahit magkaiba yung sign. For instance, we have x squared and 3x squared. So hindi sila pareho ng coefficients. We have 1 and 3. So if we want them to have um, the same coefficient, we have to transform one of the equations. That is, example, eto, gusto mo eliminate yung x squared, tanggalin yung mga x squared, so multiply mo yun lahat ng negative 3 para ma-eliminate mo yun pati yung 3x squared. So pag i-multiply mo lahat ng terms dito sa first equation ng negative 3, magiging negative 3x squared minus 3y squared equals negative 78. Yan. Yung, sabab, yung second equation, yung copy lang. Ayan. So notice, meron ka ng pareho. 3x squared, 3x squared. Magkaiba lang ng sign. So pwede mo na i-eliminate. Pag magkaiba ang sign, we add. Kasi negative plus positive. Tapos pareho, that becomes zero. So you add. So eto, pwede mo na i-eliminate yung dalawang yan. Then this one, negative 3 plus 25, that results to 22. Y squared. Negative 78 plus 100, that results to 22. Divide both sides by 22, we have y squared which is equal to 1. Get the square root of both sides. Okay? So y could be positive 1 or y could be negative 1. Okay? So we get the positive and the negative roots when we get the um, square root of the this one. Dito sa nonlinear. Okay? Because 1 squared is 1 and negative 1 squared is also 1. Okay. So meron na tayong mga y values. Now we look for the x values. So from that, gamitin natin any of the equations. Let's say we want this one kasi mukhang mas easy siya. Diba? So we have x squared plus y squared equals 26. We substitute first 1 for y. So yan, 1. 1 squared is 1. Tapos apply APE by adding negative 1 or transpose 1 to the other side. <laughs> yeah. So, magiging 25. Get, square, get the square root of both sides. So, when you get the square root, you get the positive and the negative root. So, if x is 5, y is 1. And also, if x is negative 5, y is 1. So, meron tayong dalawang points of intersection na doon. Okay. Then, how about for negative 1? So, same process with positive 1. So, negative 1 and close the parentheses. Okay. Si negative po yun. Okay, so that becomes 1. Okay, pareho pa rin ang process, magiging 25. Then get the square root of both, uh, of both sides. So magiging x na lang, and square root of 25 is 5 and negative 5. So if x is 5, y is negative 1. And if x is negative 5, y is negative 1. So yeah, ang ating um, intersection. So we have 5 and 1, negative 5 and 1. Then 5 and negative 1, and negative 5 and negative 1. To confirm sa graph, ito, uh, ito po yung ating solution. To so confirm sa graph, ito yung itsura niya. Ayan, tingnan nyo. Diba? Apat yung intersections ng given ellipse at ng even, given circle. So that is how we apply elimination in solving nonlinear equations. Okay, so this time let us proceed with the applications we're in we will be applying the concepts and the skills we learned sa non-linear systems into real-life scenarios. So one good application is this one. So example four. The screen size of television sets is given in inches. This indicates the length of the diagonal. And then screens of the same size come in different shapes. Widescreen TVs usually have screen, screens with aspect ratio of 16 to 9 indicating the ratio of the width to the height. Older TV models often have aspect ratio 4 is to 3. Here's the problem. 
a 40-inch LED TV has aspect ratio, it should be T ratio, okay, of 16 is to 9. Find the length and the width of the screen. Okay? Sige. So this is our problem of, again, a 40-inch LED TV na may aspect ratio of 16 is to 9. And we are to find the dimensions, the length and the width of the screen. Okay. So ito yung illustration natin, di ba? At least para ma-illustrate natin. So ito yung width, ito yung height ng ating LED TV. 40-inch, ibig sabihin yung diagonal. So from this um, point to this point, yan. So 40 inches yun. Okay. So, we let W be the width and H be the height of the screen. Then, by Pythagorean theorem, ito yung ating system. Kasi, di ba, um, ito, ito yung height. Tapos, pag mag-draw ka ng diagonal, right triangle yan, di ba? Okay? Right triangle naman yung ating um, kalahati kapag magdadantay sa diagonal ng ating screens, di ba? So, W squared plus H squared is equal to 40 squared. Then aspect ratio is 16 is to 9. So width to height, yung ratio is 16 is to 9. So yun ang given natin. So notice here, ito ay mga non-linear equations. Yan. So yan ang gagamitin natin at hanapin natin ang W at ang H. So from that, the first equation, we rewrite 40 squared magiging 1,600. And this one, we express in terms of H. H is equal to 9W over 16. Ayan. Okay. Sige. So, from our equation here, W squared plus H squared equals 1600 or 1600. Okay. Yung etong 9W over 16, isubstitute natin for H. So, meron tayong W squared plus 9W over 16 squared equals 1600. So, we... Um, Simplify this one, that becomes 81W squared over 256. Yeah. And then we add W squared to that, that becomes 337W squared over 256. You can check it using your calculator, so 1 plus 81 over 256. Yeah. And then we um, multiply both sides by 256 over 337, W squared will be equal to 409,600 over 337. You can confirm using your calculator. Okay. Then get the square root. So it's approximately 34.86 inches. Okay. Yun. So we do not get the negative root anymore. Kasi nga, ito ay real life scenario. Wala namang width which is negative. So that is our width. And from this one, H equals 9W over 16. Substitute W as 34.86. Yeah. So we solve for H. H now becomes 19.61. Ibig sabihin, yung width natin ay 34.86 inches at yung height is 19.61 inches. So yun ang dimensions ng ating TV screen. Okay? So that is one good example of applying what we learned about nonlinear systems into real life scenarios or situations. So that's it for this video lecture on nonlinear systems. Muchas gracias. <laughs>